natural resources. Introduction You know, our planet Earth is unique. Why? Well, Earth is the only one on which life as we know it exists. Most life forms on Earth are dependent on many factors like an ambient temperature, water and food. The resources available on the Earth and the energy from the sun are necessary to meet the basic requirements of all life forms on the Earth. What are the resources on Earth? The resources available on Earth are the land, the water and the air. The outer crust of the Earth is called the lithosphere. Water covers 75% of the Earth's surface. Water is also found underground. These comprise the hydrosphere. The air that covers the whole of the Earth like a blanket is called the atmosphere. Now living things are found where all these three exist. This life-supporting zone of the Earth where the atmosphere, the hydrosphere and the lithosphere interact and make life possible is known as, do you know what? Well, the biosphere. Living things constitute the biotic component of the biosphere. The air, the water and the soil form the non-living or abiotic component of the biosphere. Let us study these abiotic components in detail in order to understand their role in sustaining life on Earth. Types of Natural Resources Renewable resources. The resources like sunlight that will either never run out or like oxygen that will be replaced within a reasonable period of time through natural processes are called renewable resources. But these are also exhaustible if we use them faster than they are renewed or if their natural process of renewal is disturbed. For example, we read that groundwater is a renewable resource, but we are using it at a much faster pace than it is renewed, leading to lowering of water table and scarcity of water in some areas. Massive deforestation and construction activities are also responsible for the decreasing rate of renewal of groundwater. Non-renewable resources The resources like fossil fuels, which are petroleum, natural gas or coal, take millions of years to form. Once used up, they cannot be replaced within a short period of time. These are called non-renewable resources. Similarly, it takes hundreds of years for a few centimeters of topsoil to form. If eroded, it cannot be replaced. However, some non-renewable resources like metals can be recycled and reused. What is air? You are surrounded by air. You cannot see it, but you can feel the air when it blows. Moving air is called wind. Air is made of several gases. The important ones are oxygen, carbon dioxide and nitrogen. All plants and animals breathe in oxygen. Carbon dioxide is used by plants to make food. Air also has other things. It has water vapor dust and germs. It has smoke and some harmful gases given out by cars and factories. 
these gases pollute the air. When you breathe in this polluted air, you can get sick. Importance of Air Air is a mixture of many gases like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and water vapor. In planets such as Venus and Mars, where no life is known to exist, the major component of the atmosphere is found to be carbon dioxide. In fact, carbon dioxide constitutes up to 95 to 97% of the atmosphere on these planets. Eukaryotic cells and many prokaryotic cells need oxygen to break down glucose molecules and get energy for their activities. This results in the production of carbon dioxide. Combustion is another process which results in the consumption of oxygen and the production of carbon dioxide. This includes not just human activities which burn fuels to get energy but also forest fires. Despite this, the percentage of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere is fixed in two ways. Green plants convert carbon dioxide into glucose in the presence of sunlight. And many marine animals use carbonates dissolved in seawater to make their shells. Water as a natural resource. Materials found on the earth that allow the existence of life and satisfy the needs of living organisms are called natural resources. Plants and animals are living natural resources, while air, Water, soil and minerals are non-living natural resources. We get these natural resources from the Earth's crust or lithosphere, hydrosphere or oceans, rivers or lakes and the atmosphere or the air around the Earth. The extensive use of natural resources by man has greatly altered and affected our life. Occurrence of water Water occupies a very large area of the Earth's surface and is also found underground. Some amount of water exists in the form of water vapor in the atmosphere. Most of the water on Earth's surface is found at the two poles in seas and oceans and is saline. Fresh water is found frozen in the ice caps and on snow-covered mountains. The underground water and the water in rivers, lakes and ponds is also fresh. Practically every summer, most places have to face a shortage of water. We are all familiar with water shortage in summers, aren't we? And in rural areas where water supply systems have not been installed, people are forced to fetch water from far away sources. Quite tedious it is actually. But why is water so necessary? And do all organisms require water? Of course, yes. Processes take place in a water medium. All the reactions that take place within our body and within the cells occur between substances that are dissolved in water. Substances are also transported from one part of the body to the other in a dissolved form. Hence, organisms need to maintain the level of water within their bodies 
in order to stay alive. That's how important water is to all of us. Soil as a natural resource. Top layer of earth is called soil. It is the main natural resource required for survival of living beings. Thus, soil is a life supporting medium providing sustenance to plants and animals. Soil is the uppermost layer of Earth's crust in which plants grow. A natural resource satisfies human wants. Water, air, sunshine, soil, forests, wildlife, fishes and power resources all are useful to man. More than four-fifths of land is covered by soil. Topsoil differs widely in color. Forest as a natural resource. A forest is a natural ecosystem dominated by trees, shrubs, or any other woody vegetation, usually with a closed canopy. It is estimated that nearly 32 to 35 percent of the world's surface is covered by forest. In India, however, only 22 to 23 percent of the land area is forest. Forests vary a great deal in composition and density and are distinct from meadows and other pastures. The forests are storehouses of biodiversity and provide important environmental services to the mankind. The recommended forest cover for a country is 30 to 35 percent. Then only we can call it an excellent resource and material wealth.